Hi everyone, this is Stefan Joe again. It's uh, been a little while since we've uploaded another video, but we have returned um, from our Disneyland trip. Um, and as promised, we'd just like to share our um, newest additions to our pin collection with you. Hope you enjoy. Okay, first up are some of the pins that we traded for in the park. Um, Joe and I, we kind of felt like in Disneyland, there wasn't as many cast members that had pins to trade as compared to Disney World. I mean, there were some, and we did get a few catches, but I don't think with our luck, I guess for that day, we didn't really get as much as we wanted to, but I'm just going to kind of skim through the pins that we did get. I like that Year of a Million Dreams pin. That one was pretty cool. If you get a chance, check out our Day in Disneyland video. Um, I actually had that Year of a Million Dreams pin right after I got it. I was kind of excited. Um, this Disney Yacht and Beach Club, well, the Yacht Club, there actually is a Beach Club pin that we already had. Let's see, Mini, Haunted Mansion. It's a Disneyland one. Little cupcake ones. Collect those. Cars. And I'm trying to actually get the whole alphabet, and I got the K one, and here we go. Angry Mickey. Dead Men Tell No Tales. Okay, and here we have another assortment of pins that we were able to get on this trip. The first one, um, obviously being a 2014 pin, and I know Stephanie's been to Disneyland before, even though it's been a long time for her. I, since, I believe since before California Adventures was even built. Yeah, they were actually building it the last time I went there. Okay. And this was obviously my first visit, so definitely excited to have seen where it all began. Um, second pin is the Partner Statue, which obviously is an instrumental piece in both parks. Next pin here, uh, next Disneyland two. Resort. Yep, yeah. two. Kind of the Christmas season, the Candlelight Processional. And a Disneyland Christmas pin. Right there, my first visit to Disneyland. That was a must for me. I had to add that one to the collection. And the original since 1955. This one was a really nice pin. Shows Walt walking out of Sleeping Beauty's castle. This next one, the castle. This is a cool one of the monorail. It actually is... A lot. Um, I'll show you. It's got a lot of pieces in it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, kind of a neat layered pin there, but uh, overall, definitely, I think the uh, the park is, is definitely astounding. It's it's where it all began. But you could definitely tell that um, you know Disney kind of utilized lessons learned from Disneyland and kind of creating the parks in Florida and Disney World to kind of further refine things, make them more attractive, make them more appealing to all the guests. But uh, Definitely some differences, but um, you know, great parks nevertheless. We were really surprised that the parks really weren't as packed as we expected. It seemed like the, the California crowd, I mean, the mornings were relatively um, not busy, and then it would obviously get a little bit busier in the afternoons, but we were able to get a majority yeah. of the rides done in the morning, which was really, really It was nice. awesome. Okay, next stop are some pins from the rides in Disneyland. Um, Dead Man Tell No Tales again, Pirates. This one was a cool one. It was a piece of Disneyland history they had come out. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean, limited edition. It's actually, it's flipped in the pin, but if you saw it, it's got, um, it's actually part of a blue, I think the dress that the woman in the chase scene is wearing, so. The Pirates nice. was really, was really cool. I almost want to say that the uh, ride actually seemed longer in Disneyland as it does in the Magic Kingdom um, and Disney World, but uh, definitely a lot of similarities, but also some differences, which was kind of neat to see. Yeah, I think I gotta give Disneyland props for that. I think their version of Pirates Car of the Caribbean is actually better in California than it is in Orlando. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, it's a classic. I'm sad that they don't have that Disney World anymore. The Matterhorn. The Matterhorn, let's talk about the Matterhorn. <laughs> that was a fun one, but boy, was that a bumpy one. Um, it just seemed like the seat, you know, every now and then can become really uncomfortable, and I got wobbled around pretty good in that one, but uh, definitely a classic ride, but uh, a little rough here and there. 
Real quick, this is actually for booking through Disney for our trip. You were entitled to getting a free lanyard and a Disney pin. So if you guys do that, this is what you will receive or possibly receive. They may have different versions. I'm not sure, but this is what we got. And here we have pins from the Disney Soda Fountain Shop, which uh, we have a few of those, so we definitely knew that we were... Uh, when we were on Hollywood Boulevard, we wanted to stop and see where the actual soda fountain shop was. So we uh, went ahead and picked up a couple pins that they had featured at that time. It's cool to get the Jack Skellington one. I was actually really hoping to get a uh, Jessica Rabbit pin, but they didn't have any. So I was kind of bummed. But yeah. Bambi sure is often. always cool. Oh yeah, not sure how often they release pins, but uh, definitely some nice and some nice keepsakes. And it seems like the limited editions at the Soda Fountain Shop are a lot smaller than the ones in the park. So I think these were either two fifty or four hundred. And here we go with my personal favorite, obviously the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one was kind of neat. It was kind of a combination of a button and a pin. Uh, limited edition of seven hundred and fifty. Um, kind of a neat item to add um, to the collection. You don't see a lot of these button pin combos, so um, definitely wanted to get that with um, Jack and Sally by the gravestone here. Here's another cool Jack pin um, with zero with the castle like structure in the background. Kind of a neat, neat, cool pin there. There's another one uh, Disneyland and the castle and Jack, another limited edition pin. And this one's kind of cool. This one actually opens up. It's another limited edition, but as you can see here, it's got the Nightmare Before Christmas Disneyland, and it opens up on the inside. And they just had a big event, actually, just before we came um, to Disneyland, so kind of bummed we missed it, but they had a huge commemorative um, event for the Nightmare Before Christmas. And the last one here is the Tall, Dark, and Gruesome Jack Skellington pin. It's a very nice pieces to add to the overall NBC collection for um, all of us. Next up is our, they actually have a few Star Wars pins. It looked pretty neat. We don't really have too much of the Star Wars so it's kind of neat to grab what we could. Okay next up are some pins from Disney's California Adventure Park. This one's kind of neat. The um, shows the California Screaming, the Fun Wheel, the Toy Story Midway Mania. Here's the Paradise Pier. California Screaming. That was a fun ride. Very smooth coaster, too. World of Color. Monsters, Inc. Statue and Cars, which Cars is actually a really cool the Radiator Springs ride, pretty sweet. Very similar to Test Track in um, Epcot and Walt Disney World. Here we have a limited edition 101 Dalmatians Happy Father's Day 2014 pin. Don't have a lot of the Dalmatians, so figure that'd be a good add to the collection. Here's one of the Genie from Aladdin. I am here, what are your last two wishes? Kind of a comical satire on that pen. Minnie Mouse by the Moon. Good old Oswald, which is a classic where it all started. And then two of my favorites, Stetler and Waldorf from Up at Vision. Old, it sure beats dead. Those guys are hilarious. And here's another limited edition Jiminy Cricket pin, which opens up as well. This is from Up. Then a limited edition of Bears, Winnie the Pooh, that one's cute, the Tigger the Eeyore game. and Piglet, yeah. These are some of these, I think the FIFA World Cup or soccer pins, so kind of neat, add them to the sports collection. Same pin here, just kind of enhanced and much more colorful with all the nation's flags on them. And Olaf. Everybody loves Olaf. Everybody loves Frozen. Yeah. And Disney, Disney loves the fact that everybody loves Frozen. Cool heroes and villains. And then this was neat. Um, I don't think I had this one, but what would a trip be to Disney without one Jessica Rabbit pin? And then this one was really neat. This I think is one of my favorite ones. It's part of the D23. 
If you open that up, look at that one. Lots that of is them. really, really cool. It's a neat pen. Walton is prime. And then these two are kind of neat. The Evil Queen and Maleficent, which I don't know if you guys have seen the Maleficent movie, but it's pretty, pretty good. I liked a of, it. A lot of mixed reviews on it. Some people don't like the fact that they portrayed a softer side to Maleficent, who's obviously one of the prime Disney villains, but uh, definitely a different type of page to turn on the original storyline. So, very creative and outside the box, but some folks don't like yeah. that, but we enjoyed it. Really cool graphics, though. So, see it if you guys haven't. Um, I think it was pretty good, personally, so... Okay, in the last segment, I'm just going to go over um, a few things I actually got from my aunt and my grandma. They were both pin collectors, so kind of passed on some stuff to Joe and I. And the first one is actually pretty neat. It's the Millennium, the pin collector's book. Um, you open it up, and it's kind of got room for up to 12 pins that you can put in there, so it's kind of neat. Uh, these aren't really part of the Disney pin collection, but it's just some of the pins that for um, the Disney's Wildlife Conservation Fund. The other one's a pendant. Um, just a few small pins. Bambi, um, Minnie, she's got a birthstone, I think, for the month of June. So I'm trying to angle it. You can kind of see the magic lamp. These are really neat. They're older pins. There's Mickey with Walt. This one's kind of neat. You can kind of see as you move it see how Tinkerbell she flies off. That one's limited edition. Here's another limited edition, the Animation Legends. Dumbo. Don't really have too much of him. And this one, actually that's where you could personalize the pen and put your name on it, so pretty neat. Valentine's Day 2002. This one's kind of a classic pen, just Walt Disney World. So that's it for our pin video tonight. Um, if you guys have a chance, check out our other, like I said, the Day in Disneyland video. A little shaky in the beginning and in some areas, but it's pretty neat. It kind of, we just take you through our day and the fun that we had and hope you guys like it. All right, stay tuned for more videos.